Hey there, what's up guys? Welcome to Blender Wiz. And in today's video, we'll be learning how to create a forest environment scene in Blender. So we will try to create such type of scenes. We will also add a volumetric fog to our scene. So not wasting our time, let's get started. So we start by deleting the default cube as well as the camera and the point light and the next thing we have to do is create a landscape so in order to create a landscape we will be using ant landscape add-on so i have made a separate video on how to use the ant landscape add-on you can go and check it out so we create a landscape and in the operator presets we choose the river and then just scale it and then just set the camera so just add a camera and set it accordingly let's just set it here and the next thing you have to do is add a world environment so we go into the world setting and change it to environment texture then I'll open the environment texture I'll provide you the link in the description so the SDRI which I will be using is this one and I have downloaded it from strihaven.com so we are done with our lighting now let's start adding the textures so now before adding the texture just make sure to turn on the blender kit add-on so just search for blender kit and just check this box which says blender kit online asset library because all the objects and materials which we will be adding in this scene will be taken from blender asset library so to use it just press n and you can see blender kit option here and now let's search for ground material so select material and search for ground so i have tried many materials but i found this as the best option for our scene so i'll use this ground material for our scene so now you can see the texture has been applied now let's add a texture to the river so select the landscape plane and search for water material so as we can predict in this scene the water cannot be crystal clear so there will be some sands and stones under water so this material suits the best for our scene so just click it and apply it so once you have done don't forget to save the blend file let's say forest scene all right so now let's add some trees so select model and search for trees and then select this one low poly trees with random seeds so now you can see the trees are quite big you so you can just select them and scale it down so something like this and then you can move the landscape let's move it here and also move the camera all right a little bit more on the x okay this angle looks good you can change the render engine to cycles and let's change this to 150 click on adaptive sampling and inside denoising 
just tick render and viewport let's check this scene in the cycles okay it looks good just bring this plane a little bit up so now you can see the back side of the scene seems to be empty so you can just duplicate the landscape as well as the trees let's split the screen and let's duplicate it first shift t on y axis let's say something like this and also the trees so shift d and grab it along the y-axis you can also scale them scale them along the x-axis as well okay now the scene looks good and then you can add some broken trees so again search for trees and let's say this one so again it is way too big so just scale it down and place it over here and don't forget to save it now let's add some foliage so I really like this one and just scale it and let's move it here again shift D some here shift D on the y axis now you can also add some rocks let's add this one also let's add another rock let's say this one which is quite big rock so again you need to scale it down then shift D you can add it also let's add some grass and yeah let's place it over here now let's just check our scene in the render view okay the scene looks pretty good let's add some more grass to it okay so we are almost done with our scene to give it a more realistic look let's add a volumetric fog to the scene so to do that first of all you have to add a cube let's split the screen and add a cube scale it and fit the cube in our scene all right now open the shader editor and add a new material to it and delete the principal bsdf and search for shader principled volume and connect the volume to volume 
and let's set the density to 0 0.01 and 0 0.02 and let's set the color to some this color all right so we also done with the fog now let's check let's check it in the rendered view the fog seems to be very dense let's change its value let's change the density to 0 0.01 and emission strength to 0 0.005 Alright, this value seems much better. Let's just go and render this scene. So once you finish the render, this is what the scene is gonna look like. You can definitely adjust the grass here and make it look more random. So if you like the video, please hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel and don't forget to comment. So thank you so much for watching.